What's going on everybody? This is Ultima High Device Vids, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 10 brand new jailbreak tweaks that have recently been released for iOS 10 all the way through to iOS 10.2. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have NC Wall Customizer. This tweak allows you to add an image to the background of your notification center. So as you can see right here throughout the entire notification center interface, we have this nice image in the background. And of course you could choose this image from your camera roll. And again, it will apply throughout the entire interface of the notification center, which is you know a very nice look as you can see here. Even if we go into the search, you can see there just like that. And uh, again, it just provides a nice hint of customization to the interface. So to set this up, just head over to the settings and then go over to NC see wall customizer and then in here you have the ability to enable or disable a tweak and then you have pick an image which will just allow you to go to your camera roll you could choose crop or no crop I'm just gonna go with crop then again you could just choose an image from here select it and then you could go ahead and choose you know which portion of the image you want to show and hit choose and uh, if you want to remove the image you could use this button here remove image from notification center and there's also a manual respring option down here. However, after you pick your initial image, it will basically automatically respring your device. But uh, once again, a very nice tweak. It provides a nice effect to the notification center. Once again, NC Wall Customizer. Next up is Weather Banners. This one's available for $0.99, cents and it allows you to basically get a banner notification with the weather using an activator gesture of your choice. So I have it set so when I 3D touch on my status bar, as you see right there, it's going to give me a notification. The current weather is 64 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. So it's just an easy way to quickly access the weather wherever you are in your device, whether you're inside an app, again, or anywhere on the home screen, you see there you perform the gesture, and you get the weather just like that. So uh, very simple tweak. If you want to set it up, just head over to Activator, go into Anywhere, and choose your gesture. I use, again, a Force Touch or a 3D Touch on the status bar, and just go ahead and choose the tweak. I really like this tweak. It's just a very easy way to access the weather from anywhere. And how this tweak gets the weather is it looks inside your, your weather application, and it's just going to go ahead and grab the first you know location that you manually added using the plus button here so it's not going to use the current location it's going to use the first one that you have added you know I actually don't have the, lo the location enabled so it's just going to default to San Francisco for me but again if you want it to be your current location you could just actually add your location manually and then have it be the first one and then it'll show you that so once again this week's called weather banners very convenient and following the trend of getting information from banners this is battery banners this one's free and it allows you to basically do the same thing set an activator gesture to get a banner notification of your current battery percentage as you see here, just like this. Now, uh, if you guys have battery percentage disabled on your device, this is a perfect tweak to just quickly see it whenever you want to see it. And once again, you set it up the same way through Activator. And I used a double tap on the status bar, as you can see down here. And then you just choose Battery Banners. Next up, we have Mask. This one's available for $1.75. And it is spelled with a Q at the end, by the way. But this tweak allows you to customize the way your now playing interface looks on your lock screen and in the control center. So as you can see right here, we have this uh, nice blur effect that's different than the normal blur effect. You can see we also have a nice vinyl theme on the album art. Work. And that's one of many themes that this tweak comes with. There's also a share option here, which allows us to quickly share what we're listening to. As you can see right there, I could click message, for example, and you can see right there, it'll share a screenshot and the title and artist. So definitely some really nice options with this tweak. So uh, it also works inside the control center as well. And again, you could apply separate themes to the control center from the lock screen. You can see I have a circular album artwork here. You can see I have a different blur effect uh, apply, which looks really nice. And of course, we still have that share button because I did want it to be there. And again, you could customize you know, what you do, what you don't want, everything like that. The theme inside these settings, if we jump over to Mask, so in here you can enable or disable the tweak. Then you have Lock Screen and Control Center settings. And we also have the Sharing button if you want to enable or disable that, by the way. But if we head over to Lock Screen settings, so at the top we have the theme. So once again, mine's set on the record, but there's various to choose from, as you can see. Uh, let's just change it to, for example, Worn, which provides this really nice kind of worn effect on it to make it look like it's older. And there's various different awesome styles you could choose from. I'm just going to leave mine on record. But if we go back here, oh, then we have the background style, which you could just drag up and down to your liking. You can see here's a darker blur. You could completely remove the blur or have it somewhere in between. So here's no blur. And again, this is just all up to your liking. And I'm going to leave it looking just like this. And uh, down below here, you can basically rearrange different items on the lock screen. So there's the title, media controls, volume slider. So if you drag these basically values around, again, it will allow you to actually rearrange the different elements. Now, I just did it to show that you can. Obviously, when you actually rearrange it, you're going to want to make sure that you actually do it with a reason. But I'm just going to go ahead and set everything back to the zero value. So you could always do that to get everything back to normal, which is nice because it gives you those numbers over here. As you see there, now it's all going to be normal just like that. Now if we go ahead and go back out to the control center settings, you have the theme, the same thing at the top, which you could customize again. It'll take an effect 
right here. I have it set on circle, but again, you have those other options. Then there's some options just for control center. For example, we have pl playback page prediction, which is very neat. Basically, this will always make it so uh, when you're playing music and you pull up the control center, it's gonna go to the music page. So even if I'm on the first page here like this, swipe down, swipe up, you can see it's automatically gonna take me to the music page just like that. There's also reverse page order. You can make the CCR bigger, which I did over here. And there's the blur background style for the control center as well, which again, you could customize to your liking and just see basically what works just like that. And by the way, for all of the different values in this tweak, basically you could always tap on these numbers and enter your own value if you want to do it that way. But either way, a really nice tweak just allows you to kind of add some nice options to your music playing interface. Once again, it's called Mask. And one more thing about Mask, if you guys do have your device passcode locked, the um, share button on the lock screen will not work. It'll be grayed out. That's obviously a security feature, but just thought I'd let you guys know. Exact time will display the exact time you receive the notification, as you see right there in the upper right hand corner of notifications. So normally in iOS, it'll just display, you know, one minute ago, two minutes ago, you know, one hour, two hours, etc. But again, this tweak will display the exact time. As you can see, it says 11:09 p.m. right there. So uh, that's also something that's frustrated me in iOS, how it just says, you know, one hour ago, two hours ago, etc. That type of thing, because it's not exactly clear. This tweak, you know, lets you know in a very clear fashion exactly when a notification was received. So, of course, as you can see right here, it works on the lock screen, and it also works in Notification Center. As you can see right here, it does function inside here as well. So, a very simple tweak, but very practical and helpful. And here's another notification-based tweak. This one's called Tap to Open. So, basically, as opposed to sliding under notification like this, as you see here, nothing happens. Now, you just tap like that, and it opens up the notification. I can see how some might prefer a tap as opposed to a swipe. Next up, we have HUD Player. This one's available for free, and this tweak replaces the normal volume HUD that pops up in the middle of the screen with a much more useful interface. So when you go ahead and adjust the volume on your device, you can see it's just going to go ahead and adjust, you know, in the banner area in the status bar. However, it also adds the song that you're currently listening to and the artist of the song and the album artwork. So, of course, not only fixes, you know, an issue that, you know, basically interrupts the content on your device, but it also provides some useful information in the process. So very useful tweak here and also you know adjusts the color of the banner based on the album artwork of the song you're listening to so here's a lighter album artwork and as you can see right there it get the interface changes colors according to that so to configure this you could jump over to settings and there's some options to configure if we jump over to hud player uh, in here you can enable or disable the tweak and then you have the mac os volume sound which basically allows you to get that mac os you know volume sound when you turn up and down the volume which is a pretty nice you know option then you have some visual settings so there's dark blur which we're just gonna go ahead and disable you know that'll make a later effect then there's automatic color from the album image which i just talked about we'll show you what it looks like if that's disabled and there's the rounded album which will basically just if we turn that off it'll make the album corners more apparent so we'll go ahead and do that and then there's the color. If you want to basically have a custom color set, you could do that as well. And you could basically configure the seconds that it will stay on the screen. So you have all the way from one up to five seconds. I'm going to keep it on two, so it'll disappear after two seconds. And I found that, you know, you, you definitely want to respin your device to make sure all the changes do take an effect with this tweak. I use an activator gesture when I press both my volume buttons to respring, but you could respring however you want to. All right, so the changes take an effect. As you can see right here, the uh, album artwork is no longer theming the entire thing. It's just taking in whatever is in the background and using that. And also, you see there are these square corners on the album art, and it's kind of a lighter theme as well. And by the way, guys, if you want to know what it looks like when you're not playing music, I just closed the music app. I'll show you here. This is what it looks like. As you see right there, it'll just go ahead and show you like this, the indication like so. And this, is like, of course, applies to your ringer volume on your phone or just, you know, other audio volume that isn't, you know, a song. So uh, once again, this tweak is called HUD Player. Definitely a nice one. Dismiss Anywhere allows you to dismiss pop-ups on your device by selecting any excess area of the screen. You no longer have to select, you know, OK or Cancel or whatever that button might be to get to dismiss the pop-up. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and pop my device into wiggle mode and select the X button, acting like I'm going to delete Twitter. As you can see right there, it's asking me if I want to delete it, but there's no Cancel button. Basically, what this tweak does is, it again, removes the Cancel button in this case, or, you know, OK in other cases, and just allows you to tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss pop-ups. So as you can see right there, it's very simple. Just to tap anywhere on the excess area to dismiss the pop-up. It makes sense. Why have to select cancel when you could just tap anywhere? It's a you know handy tweak and it definitely again makes sense. Once again it's called dismiss anywhere. It's available for free.
Next up, we have CC Vertically. This one's free, and it allows you to view the control center in a vertical format. So as you can see right here, it's just kind of a different. It's just kind of a different interpretation on the control center, but it totally works. You know, everything is laid out in a way that it is easy to use and whatnot. So uh, if you guys go over to the music page, by default, it's not affected, but there is an option in the settings to have this be affected, and it also adds the tap to continue listening option there just to let you know that you could tap there to go into the music playing app that you last used and by the way this lampshade icon if you're, if you're wondering what that is that's noctis it's a night mode tweak but uh anyways as you see there it is actually supported by this and it actually works perfectly but anyways if we go ahead and head over to settings we could jump over to cc vertically of course you can enable or disable the tweak and then you have a disable in media center so we could go ahead and disable this and i'll show you now we go over to the media center or the music page you can see there it now takes an effect here as well so that's up to you whether you want to use it with this page then there's the no button text which is enabled by default and that applies to over here how there is no text there if you do enable it it'll make it very cramped so i recommend you keep that off and that does require a respring but uh once again this piece called it cc vertically definitely a different interpretation of the control center but i do like the way that it looks and it's definitely something to try out Next, we have AMP. This tweak will basically make it so when you're playing music on your device and you pull up the control center, it's always going to open up to the music page. Now, this is similar to the feature in Mask. However, this is just a standalone tweak that does this. And once again, if we're on you know, the first page here and we drag down and come right back in, you'll see there it'll automatically bring us right to the music page because we're playing music on our device. So a very simple tweak. Once again, it's called AMP. It's available for free. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.